qualitative analysis. Uh, so biblio bibliometric analysis is more of a qualitative analysis, but uh, there are a uh, few things that makes a mix of uh, both quantitative and qualitative uh, aspect of analysis. So my dear participants, uh, let us uh, see a few things uh, we must know whenever we are um, uh, attending any, any workshop. Though it will be a hands-on practice session today also and tomorrow also. But yes, a few things we should know as a background of um, the bibliometry, that how it has emerged and where it is now. Uh, in 1969, first time, Alan Pichard coined this term as a bibliometric. So if you ask me that, uh, what does this mean? It is just the detailed records we can say or the analysis of the public published documents. Why we call it as documents, not article or book or chapters. When you say documents, your article, chapters, edited chapters, your book, conference proceeding, editorial notes, research notes, everything, are part of documents. And that's why we call it as a document. So anything that has been published and indexed somewhere, you can conduct bibliometric analysis on that, that set of documents. So again, it emerged as a statistical or analysis tool, which was again, um, Brodus in 1987, uh, developed this bibliometric analysis tool and it applied to interpret the bibliographic data. So here, bibliographic data, we have demographic data, right? Age we have, gender we have, marital status, occupation, and so on. Similarly, the bibliographic data means the author, publisher, year, volume, issue number, page number, citations, these everything are your examples of bibliographic information of any published documents or any articles, any book. So it has a um, author, it has a citation, pub, DOI, references, everything will be the part of your bibliometric, uh, bibliographic data. Uh, primarily, bibliometric analysis is qualitative analysis, but here we will have a large volume of bibliographic data. We'll be extracting hundred or thousands documents from any of the database. For example, Scopus, Web of Science, uh, we have Publins, Dimensions, and so on. So it will be number, it will be high. So when you are playing with the numbers, yeah, it is a quantitative. So bibliometric analysis is both, we call it as quantitative as well as qualitative analysis. Because once you'll have a result, you are going to summarize the literature, you are going to summarize the, the theme, you are going to again develop the thematic clusters, their, what are the inter interpretations of the clusters and all. So these things require qualitative analysis. That's why there will be quantitative when we talk about the number of citation, number of publications. And when we talk about the cluster and thematic trends, thematic clusters, so it will be uh, called, it as, uh, called it as a qualitative analysis. So it is comprised of both qualitative and quantitative analysis. Moving ahead, um, it will help us to measure the academic, the measures of academic output using these quantitative tools, that how much an author has contributed, that means written and published papers on a particular domain or a particular theme, or even openly on, on various things. Uh, similarly, it will also help us to see the co-citation network, citations, how many citations are there, bibliographic coupling. So these things will help us that how people are interacting and they are, they are collaborating and writing papers. And that's why it is an academic research output, which will be measured through the quantitative tools. Um, again, bibliometric analysis is very transparent uh, as we are, it will be very systematic yeah. and we are going to present everything that is 
quite transparent and anyone would by seeing your result, your graph, your tables will come to know that. Um, it's a, a proper way of our systematic, uh, the author has done systematic, um, our applied systematic approach to conduct this analysis. Uh, yes, now these are few things that will motivate you okay, that how research paper in this area or using these techniques has emerged so far. Uh, just I would like to notice this part, 2007 and 2012, up till 2012, this is all, all domain, okay? Today we'll search, this, is, this was extracted on November 10th, 2022, but today again we'll search and we'll see how the trend has changed. But yes, um, if you look at till 2012, and just compare it 2022, 2012 and 2022. Left hand side, okay, now the figure is not available. Just look at to the 2015 in the table, left hand side. 2015, there were 419 publications in this year. And 2022, 3,676. Uh, 3, so if you multiply or see the year wise in seven years, every year, 900 is added in the production. So it, we cannot say it is a, a organic growth. It is like a exponential growth. Very, uh, if you look at this nine times, nine into four, 36. So nine times there is a growth in the publication, 3,600. Uh, if you, again, next year, if you search, in 2024, January, you will find this 3,600 figure reaching to approximately 5,000 or 4,500. So there is a huge scope and people are writing research paper using this technique. And that's why there is a demand of this tool. And, and I have seen many participants are um, uh, participating and learning this tool. Let us come to, because we have a, a participant from different domain. So domain wise also, if you look at, uh, we may have participants from social sciences. 16.4% paper have come from social science. Medicine, medical, we may wonder that why these um, doctors are uh, right, using this technique to write and publish the paper. They don't have to do anything because bibliometric analysis is a software of uh, your library science. But today it is applicable or use, people are using this tool to write paper and publishing in every domain. Medicine, the medical science, computer science, see? engineering, which are more towards coding. They are writing codes and uh, developing software or mobile phone app. But See, these people are also using this technique to write and publish the paper. Business management, obviously, almost 10%. Then environmental science, uh, coming to the agriculture, even from the agriculture domain, 3.1%. Uh, decision science and arts and humanities, approximately 3.3%. So if you look at you are from any domain, whether medical science, whether engineering, whether social science, agriculture, biotechnology, any field, you can write paper using this tool and you can publish it. This is country-wise. So country-wise also, if you look at, uh, China is on the top, right? China has published 3,379 and India 1,229. But my dear participant, I can ensure you that this figure is going to double very soon. And by 2025, India will be on second position. And maybe by 2030, we will be on the first position. The way people are writing paper using these techniques and publishing, I have seen people on the LinkedIn and in, in while searching the a Scopus database also, people are very much interested and they are writing this, they are using these techniques to write their paper. The best thing about this 
software is that while writing the research paper, you don't have to re, uh, rely on anything. You are not going to field for the data collections. You don't need to share your questionnaire to many people requesting, please fill, fill, fill the questionnaire. No, you just need access to so so uh, Scopus database, download the data set. Everything is with you now. You can conduct the analysis using most viewer, Biblio Shiny or any of the Biblio metric analysis software, and you can write. You are independent once you have access to a data or you, you just get the uh, data set from any of the uh, this database, bibliography uh, database, like Scopus and Web of Science. And that's why if you go for the empirical study, minimum six months to one year it takes to complete one paper. But bibliometric analysis, if you sit every day to ask, within a month, you can complete it. In 30 days, 60 hours are more than sufficient to write bibliometric analysis paper. And I also want that uh, most of our participants are from India. So after this workshop, you should write at least one paper and contribute uh, India to reach or on the top position. Now coming to the bibliometric analysis, business management domain. So this is what, uh, if you are from business domain also, business management domain also. Uh, so this is the progress. After 2014, the publication has doubled every year. 144, then 2019, 226, 2020, 350. Every year, there is an increase at least more than or 150 to 200 papers every year. So even you are from business management, you have a huge scope and you can write and publish paper using this technique. Yeah. By author, uh, definitely Kumar is, Satish Kumar is on the top because he is collaborating and writing papers. He has only, he has written 68 paper using this technique, bibliometric analysis. He is again uh, the associate professor in MNIT Jack. Uh, Naveen, this is uh, Nitesh Pandey and Naveen Dontu. These all are Indians, but uh, they are in UK. Uh, this, uh, this Pandey is uh, Mumbai and Naveen Dontu is UK. So uh, the, if you look, look at the names and all, they all are Indians on the top. And that's why I'm sure that maybe by 2030 will be on top. But second, we are going to reach, reach by 2025. India will be in the second position. Yes. Now, how to plan your bibliometric analysis? This is, uh, see, for bibliometric analysis, 50% to 60% task is done by software. Okay. And I always suggest to my participant some of the things you do by yourself also. So that the reviewer as well as editor, they will realize you have done something extra. As you know, softwares work, work on click, click, click. So once you click, result will give. Okay. So always editor in chief and the reviewer, they look at what extra thing or novel thing this author has done in their paper. And if, if you have something interesting, definitely you will get acceptance for, um, for your paper. Now, left-hand side, you can look at the citation and the tools. Citation analysis, co-citation analysis, bibliography, coupling, co-ord, and co-authorship. These all analysis are available in most viewers as well as these are available in Biblio Shiny also. These are the major analysis. And there are many softwares for bibliometric analysis. If you know one software also, either Voice Viewer or Biblio Shiny or other, it is more than sufficient to write paper and publish it. At least till A or Q1. Till Q1 you can publish if you know only one software. And further, if you can target, you can target, you can learn other softwares also. Um, 
uh, there are few things which you cannot perform in Bosch Fever, few things which you cannot perform in uh, Biblio Shiny, few things you cannot per uh, perform or uh, analyze using your both the software. You have to go to the GAFI or Signet or other softwares. But if you know one software, that is sufficient. So whatever you are able to see on the screen, these all analysis are available in your Bosch Viewer. Okay, and we will do shiny also. So let us understand what are these things. When you talk about the citation, so citation analysis, whenever you are performing, you are trying to uh, analyze the most influential publications. It may be most influential uh, article, most influential author, most influential journal also. So any publication, any author, you want to find out the impactful, influential, then citation analysis you have to go. And normally the unit of analysis will be document. Documents are again your article, your book, book chapter, et cetera. And these are the data required. Left hand side, sorry. Left hand side, you can see the data requirement. In your data set, this, these all things has to be there. there. Author name, title, journal, and DOI and all. When you go for co-citation analysis, it will help you to track the trend of citing pair of papers. That means two papers cited together in one paper. Remember, two papers cited together in one paper. That trend it will check. Uh, Megha B, I, I will request, uh, please uh, stay muted because again, some sound is coming. Yeah, thank you. Until you have something to ask, please uh, keep yourself uh, muted. Thank you. So uh, score citation analysis I was talking about, it will see the track that how two papers are cited together in one paper. Remember, two papers cited together in one paper, that trend, that track, if you want to know, you should go with the co-citation analysis. Then coming to the Biblio. So co-citation analysis directly on the references. It will look at the where, where your papers are referenced. And based on that, it is going to check. And then it will show you the cluster and, uh, and, and the track of, uh, this track of paper uh, that are cited together. Now, there's a little tricky. Don't get confused when we come to, uh, come to the bibliographic coupling. Look at here. Here it will help you to understand two works referenced a common work. So one, one paper is referenced in two papers. Okay, so it will track how many such papers are commonly referenced in both the articles. Okay. Next slide will also help you to understand this. In co-citation analysis, two papers cited in one. Here, one paper cited in two. That you will just understand. Co-word analysis, it is a thematic. Normally, if you want to know that how this is a content analysis, also we call it as how words are appearing and how keywords, variables, these things are used in a particular domain of research. So that pattern it will give you when you run co-occurrence or co-word analysis, right? When you come for the co-authorship analysis, it will help you to now understand the social interaction, the collaboration. People from one institutions to another institution, one country to another country, how they are collaborating and writing, publishing the papers. So these things, um, um, again, we, you will come to know from the co-authorship analysis. So based on author also you can see, based on institution, the college or university, and based on the countries, India, China, Bangladesh, USA, UK. So based on the country also you can. So these are the overview of, while planning, whenever you are planning for the all analysis, normally almost we use minimum three to four, or in some time, all five analysis in our paper. So you should look at these data are required. Whenever you are extracting the data, this all information has to be there in your 
Excel sheet that you can say or whatever the format in which you are downloading. So this all information has to be. Now I was talking about the bibliographic couplet. The paper one and paper B, they are citing C also, D also, and E also. So this single paper, C is cited in A and B, D is cited in A and B, E is there. So this track, it will say, it will show that uh, which are the paper that are commonly uh, cited. Here, paper A, C, paper D, paper E, these papers have cited A and B. So in these, these papers, A and B together cited. So this is co-citation. This is only the difference between bibliographic and co-citation company. I hope it is clear to everyone. Okay. So this toolbox looks a uh, little complex, but it is easy, don't worry. Left-hand side, you can see the left-hand side, first column, performance analysis. Whenever we go for the performance analysis, so I'll give you the tool through which you can go with the Bib Excel. Okay, Bib Excel will help you to do many of this. Uh, please show the previous slide, 1829. Shomya, what is the time? Yeah, this is, you want to go previous slide? Yes, this is. Uh, I hope it makes sense to everyone. Yes, yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Shall I move to the next? Okay, fine. Yes, yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, left hand side, the performance analysis. The most of this, fifty percent, you can do in uh, your uh, Voice Weaver and in your Biblio Shiny. Some of the analysis we do by applying formula in Excel also, and some of the analysis will help you can do in the Excel. As I told you, once software may not be sufficient to do all these analysis, okay? And that's why here at the right hand, uh, right hand side bottom, right, right hand side bottom, you can say these all are the softwares, different visualization softwares. And if you know all these, then these all you, you can perform. But for paper writing, one software, if you know that is more than sufficient. Okay, so publication related matrix, these are total publication and all, the number of contributing authors, sole authors, co-author and all. Citation related, again, total citation, every citation. So normally what is done, total citation, you will get it from software. And in Excel, every citation, you can lo look at every, uh, either per paper or per year, okay, that you can use it. So little manual formula, you can use it. Uh, some formula will come in the next slide also. Then collaboration index and H index, G index, I index, these are available in the uh, sorry, Google Shiny. Number of cited publication, these are normally, we calculate uh, manually also. Science mapping, the previous slide and this you will find same, the science mapping, okay the one which we have seen. So all this we can perform in Voice Weaver and Biblio Shine. These are the network analysis. So many of these we can perform in uh, our uh, Voice Weaver and uh, Biblio Shiny. But yes, some of the like page rank and um, eigenvector centrality, these things are not available. Uh, there are other also like exploratory factor analysis are available in Voice uh, Biblio Shiny. Um, uh, the other th others are not available. Okay. But if you ask me, these are only fancy. The science mapping, if you know, you can write a very good paper and publish anywhere, wherever you want. Anywhere, if you know science mapping also. That is more than sufficient. This some learn that are this. So I'll be covering worse fever. And if time will permit, we will shiny overview. Okay, overview of we will shiny also. I'll give a quick overview of it. Yeah, this is something uh, related to your performance analysis. 
uh, the one which we have seen this left hand side some uh, uh, the the theory part of it i'll be sharing the ppt so i don't want to give much time on this okay it's just a citation and publication related quantitative aspect of citation and publication it's trained it's count it will be provided in the performance analysis this is all i told you know some of this formula you can apply whenever you are doing this so this uh, this uh, ppt i'll be sharing uh, this formula you can use if you are going for analysis analysis of, uh, excel in the excel you can use this formula and then you can calculate these these all uh, analysis matrices now i'm coming to the trend and first research question in 90% of the research paper you will find to know the publication trend or what is the publication trend in trade credit research so trade credit is a here theme any keyword any theme so simple what is the trend or publication trend uh, here we have used total publication and h index also and the citation per year so just we are writing trend in uh, trend but you can write publication trend uh, such kind of word you can use what is the publication trend in trade credit research right so this way you can present in a table also you can present with the bar diagrams you can just show with the trend lines your choice you can show them this is the science mapping which i have already seen co-authorship analysis co-word analysis and all so it will help you to examine how disciplines fields specialty and individual papers are related to one another okay so social and thematic aspect of research are presented by bibliometric sorry science mapping uh, this is co-authorship where in again social dynamic among these uh, scholars in the field that how they are collaborating they are writing papers and publishing so this will be covered in the co-authorship analysis this is again co-authorship analysis only how uh, this is one diagram uh, the network diagram how people are collaborating and publishing it so you can see here that uh, the big bubbles the big bubbles will show that number of publications or collaboration uh, papers written with collaborations are high the more the, the 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 bubble is a bigger so more number up are published the if it is a smaller the bubble are smaller less number again here um, uh, whenever this line no line also you will find thickness of line will show that more number of collaborations and thinner the line it will show the less number of collaborations i'll show some here also co-authorship analysis uh, so this uh, leaf lang leaf lang and witting you see the arrow is quite thicker than if i look at bismolt and leaf lang further if i compare with bismolt and leaf lang with lehman and bolt the lehman bolt is um, uh, bismolt is thinner so here the thicker the line that means they are writing more papers with collaborations okay here lehman and bismolt they have written less papers right hand side is the same thing uh, presented uh, co-authorship analysis yeah this is also another example of co-authorship based on the countries so we can use uh, you can show a straight line also we can have a curve also so people from uh, usa they are writing more paper with france people from fi finance uh, france they are writing more papers with germany india here uh, just above usa you can see usa people are writing paper with indian the line is also if you look at thick but yes indians are writing less paper this is uh, the theme is the trade credit okay um, it is not all the themes only trade credit here also you can see uh, uh, us people are writing with the south korea they are writing with the taiwan and wherever it is connecting or the arrow is connecting the bubbles so these countries people are collaborating and writing yeah this covert as a thematic it will give you the the keyword will the the theme the progression of the theme understanding of themes thematic clusters 
these things, conceptual structure also we call it as, it will help you to establish the conceptual structures of a particular theme. Yeah, this is what you can see, the keyword analysis. So how two words, two keywords are used together, their frequency. So the frequency is high, like GARP. Trade credit only GARP model is there, market efficiency, banks, corporate governance, these, these, uh, uh, these are the bigger bubble, bubbles and there are small bubbles as well. So the bigger bubbles shows that the frequency of these words and use in the papers are higher than the, the, the word which are having a smaller bubble. Uh, similarly, the, the togetherness, how two words are appearing, so that also it will be shown by the lines. These, these lines, the connection of it, it will show the how two words are or keywords are appearing or used by, uh, commonly used, that also you can see. So from this, what you can uh, understand that, uh, see, forecasting volatility, gar this line, if, you, if I look at, it is thicker, right? So they are, you, people are using them together. Now, there are different colors. So this different color will show different cluster, okay? These are the different thematic cluster. The different color will represent different thematic cluster. And this we'll be going to see in detail when we'll go for the analysis. Now here I'm coming to the Scopus data extraction. So the journey of bibliometric analysis paper or the journey of writing papers using this bibliometric analysis starts from here. You should need to identify some keyword which are very trending, very popular, okay? And then you look at to the database, either Scopus, Web of Science or both. Both also you can use. You can extract the data from both and you can merge and you can focus. Fine. So this is the interface of Scopus database and only problem is you must require access to this database. Then only you can get and download the papers. So this is the interface. Search within it, these are the criteria. And search document, this box represent the keyword where you are going to type the keyword and hit the search button. That I'm going to show after maybe five minutes. What are the operators? See, many a times we use multiple keywords or phrase to search documents. So these are the Boolean operators. Operators you can see. So these are the Boolean operators, and, or, and, not, pre, w slash. So these are the Boolean operators that we, re, to, we use to separate or to search, search the documents. I'll also show you that how we can make use of these. And just to brief you, the articles, title, abstract, and keywords, these are the field within, search within. So these are the, where you want to search that keyword. Remember, if you are writing any paper or using any theme, you should select this option, article, title, abstract, and keyword. And whenever you are writing for any journal, any journal you are writing for, then source title. Source is the journal name, okay? Source is the journal name. So source title, you should take and then you, you can write it. First author and author, normally we do not, you can do it. You can perform bibliometric analysis, but for the paper writing, we do not use these things, okay? In practice, it is either keyword-based, theme-based, or on a particular journal. And others, normally we do not use, but yes, affiliation, maybe if you are writing for a particular institute, okay? Maybe IIMs, Ahmedabad, IIM, Bangalore, or IASC. IASC is writing maximum paper. 
So if you are going for a particular institutions related to funding, so this you can use. Uh, first author, you can use it, or author also you can use it. But again, one author may not have a, more papers. So that uh, if you want to just analyze the publication of one author, you can do it, but may not give much sense. Yeah, this is how it is going to, once you search it, this will be the uh, search result page. Yeah, I'll stop here. And uh, I'll show you some of the papers before I close it. Whatever the paper I will be showing you, that I'll show, I'll, I'll share with you also. I hope I have shared the entire, let me share the entire screen so that it will be easy. I'm sharing it. Okay, some examples I'm giving you that theme like projunction. This is one theme based. Projunction is a keyword. Now on this, uh, bibliometric analysis have conducted, but software hist site and was was fever. Whatever you paper you see, either Biblio shiny or was viewer will be there, and then other small for the limited analysis they are using hist site or Gephi and other softwares. This is JBR. So. 45 years of journal of business research of bibliometric analysis. So on journal, on journal in the topic itself, you can see the bibliometric analysis of journal. A bibliometric analysis of see IJQRM, that is uh, International Journal of Quality and Reliability. Bibliometric uh, organizational mindfulness on theme, HR, organizational mindfulness on a particular theme. This is on organic product in personal care uh, category, again, theme based. Artificial intelligence and machine learning in finance, again, keyword or theme based. Trend in OTT over the top, again, theme based. This is visualization of global research and trend, future research direction, digital marketing in SME, again, theme based. Yeah. This paper, this paper we are going to decode. This is in Q1 journal, okay. And recently published in 2023, it is published, except in 2002, but published in 2003. So this we are going to decode so that uh, you can take this paper as a base paper and you can write as it is, okay, by taking any of the theme, we'll also take uh, this one because this is, uh, this paper has been developed based on this only, artificial intelligence and machine learning in finance. And here it is digital marketing in SME, small and medium enterprises, that's all. That's why we'll be seeing this paper also, uh, this one, and uh, we'll be decoding this one also. And whenever needed, other tools, other other uh, analysis, whatever is available, that also I'll be sh uh, sharing with you. Now, uh, Madam is asking uh, this. I'll take it. Yeah. Now, my dear participant, I am taking you to Scopus database, okay, and we'll perform the Scopus analysis also today. Uh, up to data cleaning, we'll see how much time we'll have. Uh, uh, my plan is up to data and cleaning. If time will permit, then I'll show you also how to merge the data to data set, Scopus and Web of Science. Uh, if you open scopus.com, this is scopus.com, okay? This interface will be different when you have uh, access to it. So I have a remote access of my library. 
gegeben. So let us start with the Scopus. Uh, later on, I'll show you the web of science also. See, my dear participants, the previous is screen, when I have not logged in, just I have opened scopus.com and after having this, uh, this brought to you by Velour Institute of Technology, VIT, right? So now I have different options available. Here, author search and source search only was there. Now I have document, author, affiliations and researcher discovery. And the search, source, and other things are also there, right? So many a times, people who are not able to write the paper because they do not have access to this database. What I suggest, if you do not have access to this database, maybe more than 50% participant here may not have access to database. Those who are having, they are very lucky. And I'm telling you, my dear participants, if you have, Institutional, this there will be no individual access, it will be institutional access. If you have institutional access and if you are not writing paper using this tool, you are not doing or you are not wise, I can say. You should make use of whatever the facility you have. Other thing, those unlucky person who do not have what they can do you please collaborate with the people. Normally in IITs, NITs, private institutions, private universities, little premier, I'm not telling that everywhere, but little premier, at least with A plus NAC accreditation, you will find there they have access. Even we have a VIT have the access. Uh, so uh, you can collaborate with those institutions or people of those institutions. Uh, you can collaborate because to access this, you must to get the data set on which you are going to perform analysis or bibliometric analysis, you must have the access to this database. Now we have a WhatsApp group also. I think which will be open for everyone to interact after this, uh, once we complete the workshop. So there also you can call, have an open call and then maybe you will find the people from the same field. If you are from HR, then you may find from HR field, if you are from marketing or um, finance, you will find it and you write it, no issue. You can develop paper, fine. So this is all about uh, your collaboration whenever you do not have access to a Scopus or a Web of Science database. Now, uh, there is a question in the uh, this chat box. I can see, sir, how to identify keywords? Uh, Varsa, madam, you are the expert of your field, right? So if you ask me that how I can identify the Keywords of HR or uh, finance, uh, my area is marketing. I may not be able to answer you the right keyword or answer with the right keyword. What you can do now, what are the sources from which you can analyze, uh, get it? One is talk with your friend. Second is look at the newspaper. And best third is the Google Scholar. You go to Google Scholar and see the recent publications. What are the trending topics in your domain? Somebody may ask if you are from HR, some may be asked moonlighting. Moonlighting, it has emerged after the COVID, people were started working in a two companies. Simultaneously, they were working, right? Uh, COVID-19 emerged after COVID itself. Huh? So this may be one theme, but you will find many publications. So OTT, the one which you have seen, it emerged again after COVID. So you need to see what are the new things have emerged in your domain. And then from that, you will be able to develop. You will be able to analyze 
what what in on what topic people are talking today that will be your theme that's all look, look at in your domain people may be talking about flexible working hour or flexible job or digital marketing is no more if you look at in the marketing digital marketing has become very old it's not a trending one go for chat gpt if somebody ask what is today's trending it is a chat gpt 4.0 you write paper but there are no much paper available on chat gpt so not today maybe after 2 years you can write paper on this or after 1 year also because we'll see that how many papers are there on chat gpt also so this way you can identify virtual influencer people are talking about virtual influencer there are um, um, uh, artificial intelligence but again you have to go and dive into what are these other component of or newly emerged artificial intelligence that you use robo advisory you use these are the new topics okay so somebody can give me keyword or let me just search with the bibliometric first bibliometric single word i am using let me search it so one whenever you are using single word if you close within inverted comma or not doesn't matter okay double inverted comma this is if you close also no problem if you do not close also not okay. see there are 27912 papers written on this technique bibliometric bibliometric analysis so always this will motivate you to write the paper that people are writing paper i'll, I'll, I'll use analysis so my dear uh, participant why we are using this double inverted comma if i do not give this inverted comma if i remove what it will do it will search bibliometric then it will search bibliometric uh, analysis and the third time it will search bibliometric analysis so to bind them and make them or this software or this application to search wherever these both are together those document will only reflect let me search here 16288 now i'll remove and then search Twenty-three thousand three hundred thirty. This way, you are going to find the difference, and that's why whenever you are searching any phrase, please bind them within inverted comma. These two. Now the software will search these two that. Now I I request from the participant. Can you give me some of the keyword which uh, you want me to search? sir green hrm uh, please type into the chat box i will be taking from there itself eco tourism has come so i'll search with the eco tourism this is good term so if i go with the eco tourism i'll i'll take it some of the word i cannot search all uh, so eco tourism 1328 papers are there right it is very good theme sir if there is no bibliometric analysis paper you can write it now i have seen people using eco tourism in a different way maybe like this also if i am not wrong eco tourism this term may also be used let me see the difference 1328 yeah it is same it is coming fine so people are using both the term now i want to see whether there is a bibliometric paper or not on this huh? so i am looking for a paper wherein ecotourism should be there 
and bibliometric analysis. Fine, sir. Let us check it. Yeah, green marketing innovation and sustainable con consumption. So maybe somewhere eco tourism has used, but this paper is not on eco tourism. Okay. Uh, now here exploring current status and evolutionary trend on the paid use of okay fine mm. if i look at everywhere yes past present here it is past present and future perspective on eco tourism a bibliometric review, uh, uh, review when it was pub uh, published 2020 uh, yes uh, okay so what you can do sir this author there are there is one paper which is already written on bibliometric analysis using bibliometric analysis the ecotourism so in this paper the author have used the paper from to the, published from 2001 to 2018 now what you can do you can start with the beginning and till date okay maybe till 2023 and you can write the acceptance is 100% for that okay because it is for 18 years only you are going to write for from the starting to from the beginning to till date so you can write it a paper using this uh, keyword ecotourism now i'll take some more uh, Online, uh, sorry, financial behavior. It is a so, so can you please repeat uh, once again uh, what you stated for ecotourism bibliometric paper? What yeah, is this uh, what is the period see, we should be taking? See, in this paper, if uh, I'll, I'll go to the, the paper which has already published in 2020, this is the paper, okay. But what this author has done, he has taken only the papers which are published from 2001 to 2018. So now to make difference, what you can do, you can take the paper from the beginning, from which year it has started. Let me check. Huh? I'll go to the 1000, 13,000 or 1300. Huh? They starting the first paper was published. in 1986 okay the first paper nine so you can start from 1986 till 2023 so it will make difference and you can go with it okay if if question also comes that already there is a bibliometric um, uh, paper written on this theme you can easily justify by showing that that author has ignored the publications which are before 2000 and after 2018 after 2018 also if i look at 100, 200, 400, 500, more than 500 papers are there. So easily you can uh, defend the comment of the author, sorry, reviewer. Very easy, you can write it. What the point? Yes, sir, thank I'll you. Take, yes, sir, thank uh, I'll, you. Take, I'll take some behavioral finance is coming. So let me check uh, on the behavioral finance. Two thousand five hundred sixty-one papers, but it will increase. Why? Please make or when we are using or whenever we have a synonyms. People may use the UK and US English. Behavioral is you and so in place of the author may use this behavior also or this one. And that's why you want, you are looking for that uh, the papers which are written or behavioral finance. So the term may be different, but the paper or the theme are same. So for any kind of synonyms or UK and US English, you should use or so that you will not miss any of the paper. Now, 
let me check how many papers are there. Uh, you, you can click on search, you will find. Earlier, we were able to see. OK, it is same. No, no much difference. I think they have changed the, uh, this algorithm. It is, uh, it is taking whenever uh, even behavioral or behavior, uh, sorry, American English or um, UK, it is taking. Now, sir, what? Yes, please. Uh, sir, actually, I also did uh, this thing. Uh, I use synonyms, but uh, the problem I say I was facing was that as I was increasing the number of synonyms, the number of papers were decreasing. Decreasing. Yes, sir. No, no, no. If you are using or, it will not decrease. It will increase. No, sir. No, sir. I tried it two or three times. Uh, I was getting the same answer uh, as I was like I was doing on COVID nineteen and mental health of employees. So uh, I'll, I'll check it. I'll check it. I'll you please give me that term. Uh, okay, let me sir. just finish with this, and then I'll I'll check it. Huh? Okay. Uh, if you want to check the bibliometric, so what now it will do? It will search behavioral finance both the terms. And then bibliometric has to be there. Then only the paper will be displayed. Earlier it was 1,003, 2,000 something, 500. Now there are 26 papers. Okay. You need to go one by one. Investment, intention, and decision making, a different thing. Uh, uh, only we are looking for the behavioral finance. No? Yeah, here it is. Mapping social media in the theoretical field of, you need to check out whether it is exactly what you are trying to do or it is different. If it is different, you can write it. Artificial intelligence, machine learning, uh, the paper I was showing you, uh, that it is. Journal of your, uh, be a, uh, Finance, Bibliometric paper, then exact term I am unable to find in these papers. Okay. Behavioral finance are not coming. Why it is appearing? Maybe in the abstract, you can see in the abstract there. So you need to check with this. And then you decide whether the paper is matching on what you, you are here. It is bibliometric and behavioral. It is already there here. Behavioral finance and accounting. Completely written here huh? in 2021. You cannot write paper on this thing. Okay. If it is already written and published, you cannot write. Yeah. What, what was that term? Let me uh, check here. Madam. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, sir, it was uh, COVID-19. Please type it in the chat box. Okay, sir. So that I can take. So whenever, I'll just, meanwhile, uh, this uh, keywords comes. So whenever there is uh, synonyms, please use OR. For example, SME. SME or a small, medium enterprises or small enterprises or a small business. There may be these terms which may used in place of other. Okay. Now uh, this is S or people may be using enterprise also. So whenever such thing comes, you use a star. It will treat these must alphabets of a keywords. And after that, whatever will come, it will consider whether there is enterprises or enterprise, it will, it will treat as the same. I'll search it. So there are 45,446, right? Now, if I remove these synonyms, 45,000 was there. Now 24,000. So if you remove, it will redu reduce. Further, if you add, it will increase. Now, in the case of madam, madam has mental health and uh, COVID employees. And they are not the synonyms. They are not the synonyms. COVID-19. Sir, they are the keywords and I use the synonyms for all these three keywords. No, no. You give me the synonyms for one. Okay. 
Uh, actually, I use all these three keywords and I uh, applied the synonyms of all these three. Okay, okay. I'll give you whenever you are using the synonyms of multiple words. Okay. Uh, yes. Please, participant, pay attention. Use this tab. Here you can use or. Okay. Maybe for the, uh, what is that? Mental health. Mental health. You use here. And what was that? Employees. Employee or employees, you use here. And then search. If you want further, so if you have a synonyms of more uh, these words, you keep on using these terms. And you can use if you want to be bibliometric. Let it be. I don't think that the result will come in this, but still, I will just show you. There may be zero. Huh? For 469, it is coming. I have used mental and employee in terms of or. If I remove, it will uh, it will further reduce. You give me the synonyms of this, these maps, I'll, I'll, it will increase. So now. shall I write or uh, shall I tell write, you? Write, write, write it, write it, no issue. Mental health, this is me, mindfulness also, it may be a mindfulness. I think it is, the spelling is well-being. You want this to gather, right? If I am not wrong. Because you are yes, targeting yes, to employees, sir. huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 14,453, right? Now I'll remove these uh, synonyms. It will reduce 6,131. When I added the synonyms, that paper were 14,000. So uh, just I think in the search, you had made mistake while applying these uh, Boolean operators. For the point, Madam. Sir. You can ask me to search anything, logic. Sometimes if it behaves badly, that I can understand. But if it is behaving badly, you refresh it. It will again start from the starting, you refresh it. Sometimes it's a rare case, I'm telling. Maybe it's due to some server error and all. Uh, sir is asking, uh, Tamil Selvan. Uh, these all are no. Okay, no issue. So, is there any a minimum number of papers that we should no, have? No, 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 no. There is no thumb rule. I'll tell you that. That also I'll come. Working persons, or it will be remember, madam. Okay, because you are using in place of employees, right? Or it will be professionals. Yes, I'll not go yes, on. Yes, sir. I'm taking this much only. Professional and professionals, you use a star in here. Huh? Uh, persons, it is there, let's use a star. Search it. Earlier it was 6,000, right? 6,168. Search it. Earlier it was 6,131, now 6,168. It is increasing. This working person and working professional, they are very rarely used. That's why the numbers are less, the increasing. Employee is a very popular one. If you want further to increase here, mindfulness, if I add, or mindfulness, it will further increase. Six thousand seven hundred. The previous search result, and this will let us compare. When we had just mental health and employee, 6,131. When we used mental health, then employee, working person, and working professional, 6,168. And when we also add the synonyms for the mental health and synonyms for employees, 6,752. It is increasing. What the? Okay. Uh, now, I think we should stop. Uh, uh, we, we need to data clean and scopus analysis is also part of today's session. I'll take the last one, okay? 
sustainable and yeah dev prasad sir i am taking yours only yeah because i liked it i want to see somebody may say sustainability and production okay so there may be sustainable production also and sustainability or sustainability in production right so in place of in such cases there just you use i after i also you can use the asterisk or uh, like this you can use now let me search this i am removing let me search yeah 62648 if i use sustainability sixty two thousand six zero six so when i used this asterisk the paper was more see sixty two thousand six hundred forty eight when i use sustainability without asterisk huh? the paper were less or more as almost 42 papers were less now i am going to this uh, sustain uh, this uh, with with a string now let us see the here sustainability is there uh, this has been taken care of uh sustainable i am looking for a uh, production and i have used no yeah so sustainable i am looking for this may be in the keyword you will find sustainability here it is not there no okay. sustainable or sustainability i'll just try in this page if it is there fine or else sustainable 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 it is very very rarely used term no but i just wanted to show you so oh, it's not coming it will be there uh, it is not here maybe we need to go to another page because there are 43 papers only and we have 62000 so it's very difficult i'll just uh, production anything else we can use uh, some term sir can you advise any other term so that this number can be reduced and in the end let it be india i'm trying no? india and indian if it is there you can use it like this just trying to search and show you that how it, this asterisk work sustainability sustainability okay but any anyway, i have already explained you the logic because um, i don't why I, i want to save time leave it indian and i'll try to market market and markets so that uh, if market also or markets also comes yeah so four documents are there let me see the market and market yes see it has taken the market now i want to show you markets if it is there market only here also market uh, market is not there but it will consider the market and markets both because india and indian yeah so indian it is there india indian 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 everywhere you know any uh, the thing that i wanted to show you it is not coming any other term specific the last time searching and then i am going for the sir i think you rem you removed the, 
I in the sustainability. So sustainable B till me. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. Now it will come. Sorry. Now we may get sustainable, right? Yeah, here it is. See, sustainable and sustainability, sustainability both are coming. I didn't look at to the I. Now we are getting more sustainable. Sustainability is also there and sustainable is also there. So this way your asterisk works. This star works. Okay, so now there are these things and you can use if you have a multiple keywords and the synonyms of that. I had already shown you. Uh, this is for add date range. So add date range, you can remove also add date range. Whenever you want to extract the data for a specific period, likewise in a paper, it was from uh, the ecotourism from 2001 to 2018. So same thing you can do if you want to do, if any topic that is very much matured. So you can do bibliometric analysis for last 10 years also. Okay, last 20 years also. So here we got almost oh, 146,000 sustainable and production. Uh, if, you, if you go with the only 10 years, there are 1,46,794 publications. Even in such case, you can conduct bibliometric analysis for last five years also, 2017 to 2022. In such case, still 1,4,000. Yeah, but when you go for the inclusion exclusion, it will come, it will reduce, but still this is a good number you can conduct Analysis last five years or so you can write for this sustainable production. The participant who, who has given this, they have a very good scope. You can write papers for, uh, for last five years also. And 100%, I am telling you, it will be accepted. Now, this. Uh, sir, may I come in? Yeah, please. Uh, sir, can we also include here uh, the bibliometric term so as to see whether any work is being done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No and sure. my second question to you is, I already posted it in the chat. Uh, can you suggest some good journals which typically... These uh, things, publish? please, uh, the, the uh, general question, please ask. Uh, we'll have uh, 15 minutes of questions. Yes, sir. I have already question. posted it. In that, then, please ask. Yeah. Uh, uh, sir, that I have already I'll, posted I'll, it, yeah. I'll answer that yeah. time only, okay? okay? I do not want to deviate people, okay? So okay, the, all so the general okay. question, please ask that time. Okay. I will be answering all the questions. Even you have posted now. I'll see oh. all this as the end of the discussion. Okay, huh? sir. Okay. But then, I'll sir, uh -huh, yeah, bibliometric. I just wanted to know I'm whether any paper is there. Oh. Yeah. 649. Now, at least bibliometric analysis of bio car research, critical review of development, hotspot train and directions. Is it bio car, bio chair, or what is it? Bio char or car? I'll go with the sustainable production. But there are 649. You have to go one by one and see. Sustainable biofuel. Uh, why it is coming? See, the term production is also there. Okay. So in this case, what you can do to review, uh, uh, this is another thing. You do not use this term differently. Okay. Use like this sustainable production okay so that this both terms should appear together and then look at the bibliometry 38 papers has come now now it will be easy for you to see uh, management of used so here also there is a sustainable keyword it is there okay somebody may say that sir you are not showing anything here and why you how you are claiming this paper has come just go to here, the keyword. Uh, in the keyword, you will find that term. Indexed keyword. The term was, and I have used to. 
bibliometric is coming. One is the uh, sustainable production. Uh, but key, it is not used in the keyword, it is in the indexed keyword. That's why it is coming. But uh, the indexed keyword will not appear here. You need to download the paper, this set, then only you will come to know. If in author keyword it is not there, then it is in the index keywords. These are the author keywords. So, so it will take from the indexed keyword also. Uh, bibliometric review on management of webinar personal protection equipment. Uh, here, resource mapping the sustainable production and consumption literature it is talking. So if you want only on a sustainable production, still you can go. It has focused on Southeast Europe. So here it is on both. It has considered sustainable production and consumption literature. Uh, and that only dedicated to Southeast Europe. So you can uh, write paper on this. But you need to check all the 30, 38 papers. Who do Western sustainable? Mm. In the first page, it is not there anywhere. Bibliometric is there and the sustainable production, it will come there uh, in the keyword. So uh, uh, you need to look at all these papers and uh, in the first page I could not find, you can write it. I'm just going a little faster so that we can save time. Uh, farm and manufacturing. Yeah, it is not there. You can write paper used on sustainable uh, this production. I could not find it. You can go with this. They have written, but in a different, different context. Uh, the bioeconomy and livestock production nexus like this. But what, uh, potential uses of brewers, spent grains. So production, only production as a keyword, sustainable production, you can write bibliometric paper. Okay. So I'll just use this one only, the sustainable production. And let me search how many were there? Yeah, 10,495 papers. Let us move. Uh, uh, I hope you don't have any other question related to the search term. Uh, one more thing, please avoid such thing. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah, please. Yeah, I can, can hear I you. Like a, a derivative markets bibliometric analysis. Derivative markets. Yeah. Let me let me take it from the chat box. Here I need to use and normally use bibliometric only. Okay, sometimes people use different term for bibliometric analysis. Okay, bibliometric review also they use. So better uh, one document only. Exotic option conceptual in literature from a systematic. No sir, on derivative market there is no bibliometric paper. This looks on a different uh, literature from systematic literature review. Yeah. Sir, is only one paper can we try in this area? Like, uh, sir, maybe different terms used for the derivative. Derivative. I market. would like to go for bibliometric, no? Yeah, bibliometric. You want to go now? Let's see if markets also if there people are using. Only one document is coming. You can go with this, sir. Derivative spelling is correct. Yeah, 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 it's correct. Right? People may be using yeah. derivatives or derivative only. This is also used. Please confirm. Yeah, yeah, can, uh, it can be used because yeah. this is finance. So I am a little poor in it. Ah, I can see only one paper coming in the Scopus. At least in Scopus, it is only one paper coming. That's 21 paper, right, sir? Only one paper, sir. That's a 21 published. Yeah, 2021 22. published. That's 20 can different languages. The paper 100%, paper sir. Conceptualization. Exotic option it is talking of, bibliometric and uh, derivative market, it is coming here in the keyword. Huh? Yeah. So there is no bibliometric paper on this, sir. You can write paper. Yes, sir. 
Sir, is yeah. it possible? Can you download this paper, sir, for me? Because sir, this is only it. Scopus, not the journal access. I'll see uh, if I go to the journal, uh, if it allows okay. me to download, I'll download. But I don't think that it will allow me. This is the paper. For journal, again, we need different uh, research. I can. Let's see, it is same the paper, same. Yeah, the, the draft copy, not the published. Normally in the research get people put it. Uh, okay. I'll try to share. Read for a text. Uh, sir, I'll post it into the chat box. You can download later on. Okay, sorry, in the WhatsApp group. Okay. In Spanish, sir. Uh, if it is, no, no, this one is Spanish. Yeah. But it is written in. Uh, let me check one second. If it is in Spanish, sir, I also cannot understand. Yeah, sir, no use of this, sir. It is in Spanish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Now on this, let me check how many papers are there. Yes, whether sir. You can go with it. sir, there are 1,315 papers. You are good to go with this topic. Yes, please. Sir, in edit, there is an option advanced document search. What does this mean? This one, you can, yes, sir. Yeah, you can use further, further keyword. Directly, you can put the query here. Uh, the, I'll show you. Any of the paper, if you take, no, they normally put the, the entire set how they have used this term. Directly, you can copy and paste there, it will come. Now, many times, what we do after searching, I'll go to the search result. Hmm? These are what we have, no, directly we can, sorry, we can copy it. And we can use these terms. You can copy and save in your Word file. And later on also, whenever it is needed, you can with the advanced search, you can directly paste here, okay? And you can search it. Okay, sir. Fine? Okay, sir. Well, so I was here uh, with the 1,315. Uh, 1,315 documents. I'll go, I, I'll work on this one, link, right? The first table we are going to see, I'll show you the overview of a paper. I'll go with this one. It, it is published in A star, I think. It's a Journal of Behavioral and Experimental Finance. Normally, bibliometric paper, it start with abstract everywhere you'll find. A small introduction that on a theme, it is artificial intelligence and machine learning theme in finance. Okay. So normally to start with the introduction, wherein how this term has emerged, okay, from origin to the present state. Here. Uh, up till here it is okay. I think up till here. From origin. It's a very 500 words to 1000, not much, okay? If you up till here, how the term has emerged and from the origin to the state you are going to present, how it emerged in a different, different domain in an area it was used and what is the present state that you are going to show it here. See, all the papers that are cited, 2019, 2020, when it was published, maybe in 2020 or 21, 22, 21. So what is the present state of the research in this field you are going to present here? So normally we start with the emergence and then the how it has developed and what is the present state while writing the introduction. This is all about either you can write research question or you can just write that what you are going to do. 
Okay, in this paper, it has explained that they are going to use co-citation, bibliographic coupling, then uh, uh, some some more bibliometric. Um, um, just in the word they have, uh, the author has presented here that what we are going to look at. Huh? Uh, then co-occurrence also it has uh, shown confluence analysis also highlighted. You can go with, see here, OTT and how it has emerged. And finally, either you write what you are going to do or research question you can do. What is the present status of research in the field of OTT and, and the future research directions? Here also, projunction. I started with introduction, brief introduction. The origin it has started, when this term has coined. And what is today's states, 2015-2019, and research questions. These are the research questions. Now I'm going to this, the same thing. What is the present state, the emergence of the, the digital marketing? And by the time you reach here, the social media and all little, because this was added uh, uh, when uh, this was the suggestion was given by the some of the reviewer. Attractiveness at today's, given the importance at the present day, uh, what we are going to do, we're conducting bibliometric review, literature, um, uh, sorry, mm, here. We employ bibliometric analysis to provide retrospection of existing literatures. No research question directly, uh, we are trying to have max, more and more uh, analysis of bibliometric analysis and result we are going to produce. So either you can go with the, here also there are some research, very good research questions. Research questions. So my dear uh, participant, here also uh, I'll give you some of the common research questions. So your first research question will be, your first research question will be, what is the present status or the publication trend of particular theme? Okay. Next question will be the most impactful. Let me show it somewhere. Huh? The most impactful, most important, significant, or impactful or prominent journal, author, institution country, then thematic. The next may be what is the thematic or what are the various thematic cluster in the field of what is the sustainable product, derivative market in the field of derivative market. That is the third question it may be. Fourth may be what are the thematic progression or thematic trend in the area of derivative market, and what are the future research direction? Five research questions, sufficient. I have already shown you there are paper wherein with the two research questions also it has been published, only two. One is present status and future research. Two research. This is ABDC B category. The journal is uh, the ABDC B category, the of information and knowledge management system. And this is in the A category, I think. Bibliometric uh, highest. Uh, this is in A category. Finance journal. But, but to, okay. nowadays, A category journals are also requesting that you must do bibliometric and content analysis. They are not accepting only bibliometric analysis paper. Uh, uh, yeah, that mixed approach also you can go. But uh, see, we are writing uh, whenever you are targeting any journal, no. So you look at what type of paper they are asking for. You should you should have that approach. Then only they will uh, they, they will accept. So normally the practice is you first first target the journal and then write the paper, so that the acceptability of that paper will be high. Okay, sir. Thank you. Uh, the questions may be uh, one is to know the present status or the uh, the, the research trend, uh, Srishti Singla. Next may be the impactful or influential author, 
journal, articles, institutions, country. The third may be the various thematic clusters. Fourth may be the social interaction, the social collaboration, how people are collaborating and writing papers within institutions, among institutions, then countries or within author. Next may be the future. What are the future research direction in the field of your particular, uh, what is derivative market? So these are the questions, the common questions. The cost, okay, common sir. questions are these. These Thank all you, papers sir. I will be sharing with you. So you can have a different research question from each of it, and then you can develop your, based on your interest, you can develop it, right? Well, so here I am coming. Uh, after introduction, in any paper you go with, small, always, the literature review here is very small. What is presumption that defining that emergence of this, this is about the software. This much is only literature review, see. This is only literature review, that's all. Then your methods comes. Any paper you go, this is on the journal, okay. This I'll show you how it will. Uh, this is a for the journal. The literature review will be very literature survey. Hardly 500 words, not more than that. In any paper, here also, background of digital marketing in a small medium enterprises. That's all here, cut off, finished. Not even 500 words. So less than 500 words only. Literature review is very less. What you should write in literature review, just implications, whatever the major things that you can find, major highlights of this theme. Digital marketing in a small SME. Major highlights, not much, okay? You should not dive into depth. It's a just uh, overview so that anyone who is willing to read, they should understand what is exactly this term means. And then your method is start, bibliometric research method. So in methods, always it start with defined appropriate terms. What are the terms that you have used to search? All the synonyms. Now, my dear participant, in this paper, you can see it is, remember, digital marketing in SME, small, medium enterprises. So digital marketing, online marketing, or online advertisement or advertising, internet marketing, e-commerce marketing, search engine marketing, data-driven marketing, email direct marketing, social media marketing, email marketing, display ads, mobile marketing. So these are all terms for the digital. Then for SME, SME, small and medium enterprises or a small business. So these are the terms I have used to search the documents. In the first attempt, when we searched, we got 372 papers. I'm coming to this after the, this is the background of AI and ML. See, not much directly. This is the third, the terms, the finance, uh, the, this is also your literature review only. And here it comes to methodology. So in methodology, the first table is this. What are the terms? Search term, AI, Artificial intelligence or machine learning, data mining, data science, algorithm, analytics, robot automation, big data, text mining, natural language processing, soft computing, and finance or financial management. See, my dear participant, whenever you are searching, first your research will be on this. What are the different terminology that may be used as a synonyms of this word? You should research entire thing before you proceed the final, uh, before you re reach to the conclusion. You should search the synonyms, right? Now there is a question coming. When I search this 11,357 people. When it was searched, April 14, 2021, date you should mention on which date you have 
25th March 2022. You should mention it. Here, this table will be search table. Oh, here it is. I think somewhere it is there in this paper also. Let me check. Result, I think here it has Web of Science database. Uh, mindfulness. I'll see with this. Uh, let me check one day. Here also you'll find the table. Yeah, this table. So in any paper you go, this may be normally nowadays people are presenting in the, the table so that it will be easy that what was the initial search and after applying the inclusion and exclusion, what you had a final number of paper on which you performed bibliometric analysis. Right? Now somebody is asking uh, if you have uh, 20 numbers of paper, can you perform? Uh, you can perform. You can perform. Software will give you result, but uh, the acceptability by the editor and the paper will be very less. The acceptance whether that you are going to receive is that the probability is very, very, you can say 1%. So there is no thumb rule. Please make a note. There is no thumb rule that how many papers you have before uh, you proceed. But normally, in practice, 70 to 80. Above this, if you have a figure, you can go. If you have 70 to 80 papers, you can go ahead. You can write bibliometric paper. If it is this uh, 20 papers, write systematic literature review. You can read it, right? You can read all the papers, summarize it. You write systematic literature review. Yes, somebody was asking something. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, if date of search is 25th March 2022, then what is the latest time, maximum time we should write? Within, e within, within, within one year, you should communicate it. Okay, sir. Okay. If within one year, if it is not going for review, you need to update the paper. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, today itself, I received one paper from my friend. She wrote it uh, last year. She tried everywhere, then, and then uh, she sent me a study and uh, she asked me, Vijay, please take it and see if it can be published somewhere, only in a Scopus also. So I was going through her paper and I called her, it is written, the data you have extracted in 2021. Now the acceptability of this is very low. They will ask that there are many publications has been added in this domain today. So please update, rewrite the paper and up, upload. So I ask her, please do it before we upload and then we get such words from the editor and uh, the reviewers. It's better you update it, then we can communicate. So within a year, if you are getting revisions, okay. Revisions, okay. Uh, why I am telling you, there is one paper of my scholar only. It is about to, it is in Wiley only. I just wanted to show you that when it was uploaded. Okay. It was uploaded in 14 July 2022, but data was extracted artificial intelligence in marketing research and future research direction. Data was restricted, I think, uh, extracted in January or February 2022. Okay, if you want, I will show you. So if it is in, in, in Revision, no problem. The acceptability is there. But if it is uh, still you are communicating, then uh, see, 1st Feb 2022. So it is in final now. We are waiting for the acceptance only. The acceptance will come maybe in another 10 days or uh, maybe two weeks, three weeks it will come. It was a minor revision. That's why I'm telling you. So. If this state, if I get rejection, let it be. If I am very lucky, unlucky, my scholar is very unlucky. If we get rejection, then we need to update it. Because wherever I uh, uh, communicate it, the same word I'll, I'll, I'll get it. That uh, it's already been, um, th there are many people already been added into this research domain. Please update and then upload it. So that, that is the risk in the bibliometric. Sir, I have one more question. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sir, when, uh, when I did language screening, 
so uh, it was showing uh, 910 uh, i think uh, let me let me reach to that so that your question when i answer okay, it sorry. other will also get to know huh? okay. or else uh, others will have a bounce now okay so let me prepare this table i will take the, the excel or in the word also we can prepare Do I have the format? Yeah. So let it be. Uh, to save this time, uh, normally I use this template so that we can save time. I want to make you learn more. So initial search, what the term we have used? Derivatives, this one. Huh? Date is 21-03-2023. The term we used is this. Hmm. How many paper we got? 1,315, 1,315. Now we'll go for, this is, uh, we have taken for the entire year. So we can remove this, delete. Now I'm going to the inclusion and exclusion criteria that we are going to follow. See, selection criteria, somebody tell article inclusion and exclusion criteria, table name. Uh, they also uh, search criteria and article selection. We use this term different way so that uh, the plagiarism, to avoid the plagiarism only, okay. In this uh, paper, I think uh, they have not developed it. Yeah, this way they have presented. The same thing they have presented. How many papers were there? See, total extracted 292, article out of 95, duplicate and relevant mistakes. <laughs> then, uh, yeah. Here, Scopus, uh, they have used uh, Emerald, I think, only. Scopus 57, Emerald 1200, Taylor and Francis. For this, this way, they have done it. Uh, so table there they have used uh, the publisher also to filter it. This one, yeah, flipped. So this is the table. Now I'm moving to the Scopus here. See, I'll be telling you that what you should apply for your paper and you should ignore it. Open access or licensed or copyright transfer to the publisher, whatever it is, this we are not touching. We want all the papers, whether it is open access or license transferred or non non open access. Everything I want. Yeah, here my concern may be. I may be willing to write the paper for last one decade, two decades, twenty years, fifty years. So click on view all. I have clicked on view all. Now we tell here. Yeah. It is loading. Meanwhile, I'll just connect my charger. Yeah. It won't take this much time. I'll just refresh it, okay? Maybe logged out. Uh, I told you, maybe logged out. <laughs> Don't worry. Whatever we have searched, it is there. Until I close the browser, in my search history, everything will be there. See, whatever I, I had searched, everything is there. We were working on 1315. So uh, here, here, you can click on view all so that uh, uh, you can apply there also, but just click on view all so that you can see the year wise. 1961 started, the first paper was published in 1961 and there are uh, 73 papers published in 22 and 23 13 papers so we are in the initial only few months we have of 23 years in past so you may write for last 10 years or 20 years or for all it is your choice i'll just show you the some of the examples let it be i want to write for last 10 years 
or last decades from 2010 up till. Whenever you click limit to, that means these all papers which we have here, we have selected, they are going to include. If I click on exclude, then these those who have not selected that will be included and the selected years will be excluded. So click on limit to and year range which I had removed from here, I'm putting it 2010 to 2023. What is the current figure? 954. So 954 remains. And the difference you can just type it here um, over the, this one, 11 minus five is six and 12 minus nine, it is three, 361 we have removed. The calculation may be wrong also, uh, just you can check it. So this is year-wise filtering. If you do not want, you want to include all, you can ignore this criteria. This only applicable wherein the subject is very much, the topic is very much matured. Then only you should do it. Yes, Pankaj sir, you can do period-wise bibliometric analysis, okay? But you must have a sufficient justification to justify that period, why you have done for that period. But normally you cannot ignore the current period. You do for the 10 years, last 10 years, you do for last 20 years, but you cannot do like 2001 to 2010. You are ignoring the present status. Okay, period why you can do it. 10 years, five years, 20 years, 50 years. Now, next, I'm moving to the next. So here we have seen, now author. See, normally we do not exclude any author or just, uh, we include all the authors. So ignore this term. Subject area is very important. View all. I want to show you all the subject area. So if you are the term that I have searched, that is of finance, management. So normally, Management papers are published or comes under the domain of economic, econometric, and finance, business management, accounting, social science, and arts and humanities. Is it there? Yeah. Others are of a different domain. So you select these four. Or if you feel that the term that I have used, the theme that I have used, that may also applicable in the distance science or other, other, you can select. So I am clicking on include. Remember, economic, econometric, and all. So I'll put here this, uh, this psychology also, it was used. Is it psychology there? Uh, subject area, sociology, arts, business area. Mm. So we have used, just a second. Huh? Here we should see it. Huh? Economics, econometric, business management, social science, and humanities and arts. So you should write it here. Social science, business management, accounting, arts and humanities. Humanities. Yeah, and so on. Whatever you have, you have included. So after this, what the figure we got? 769. 769. 954 minus 14 minus 9, that is 5. And then we have a 5, that is 14. 14 minus 6, 8. And 8 minus 7, 150. 185 excluded. The next criteria. So here we have done subject area we have done. Here also minimizing. Document type, another most important. So in document type, see, we have article, book, chapter, review, book, conference. I told you, you know, these all comes. But normally in practice, we select article. Article, why? It is a reviewed one, peer reviewed. The quality of the papers, these documents are higher. Yes, you can go with, if the numbers are less, you can select review also, the review papers. Book chapters, book, conference, paper and all, they are not blind review. We know who is the author. On friends, the IEEE and all, there it is not double blind review. Only one that the author doesn't know, but the reviewer knows that who is the author. So the quality of these are less. 
now I'll tell you. In this article, conference paper, book, chapter, and review, all are included. Right? So we received comment from the reviewer that why you have used conference paper? Because the quality of the conference paper are not so good. Getting my point? Such because the reviewers are very smart. They have already published paper on this. So they are very smart. You cannot write anything or exclude or include anything by saying that uh, the number will increase or decrease. No, you have to be very careful if you are doing anything, you should have a proper justification. See, I'll, I'll show you what was the comment of the reviewer. Just I'll see. Yeah, see, what this author has <laughs> given the comment, the author mentioned that conference paper were included alongside article and review. Why? He is never mentioning the paper. The peer reviewed standard of the articles and reviews are higher than the conference paper. Also, conference vary widely with their peer reviewed standards. Here, a description of, okay. So they have asked why you have included conference paper. See, see, the such, such thing will come. Now I can give you that how we defended it. The topic is not matured yet. Therefore, we tried to incorporate all publications which were peer reviewed. Hence, the total number of 17 conference paper were considered for final analysis. We only included the conference paper which were very much relevant to the current theme of the study and were published in a proceeding of IEEE and Springer. We have not taken any conference paper which are published other than these two conference proceedings. So this way you have to defend. That's why I told you, you should be ready with your answers. If any questions so, comes from reviewer, so you should can be you ready. Can you show it again, the, the reviewer comment? Can you show it again, please? Oh, I closed it. Huh? I will give you the brief that uh, I just highlighted that we were only included yeah, this one. The seven, there are other questions also they have mentioned. So we have answered to that also. Uh, why you have included this, the question was. So we told that there were 17 papers we have included because this topic is not yet much matured. This artificial intelligence in marketing, okay. The topic is artificial intelligence in marketing. Mm. Title is there or not? Okay, anyhow. Uh, artificial intelligence in marketing was the topic. So we we yeah, here it is. We said that the topic is not matured, and the see the paper, number of papers are also very less. Uh, not not here in the other journals. The paper of uh, the the paper uh, the number of um, documents were also less. So we told them that seventeen conference papers were there, and we only included those papers which are published in the proceeding of either IEEE or Springer. No other uh, proceedings. Okay, um, this way we justified our uh, this, and we got the acceptance. So you should be ready with this. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. So after applying uh, this article and so I'm just taking articles and review. You can scroll down and click limit. To. Let us see how many figures, how many documents remains. 603. So 603, which means other things that were I, 166, 166, we removed. Now the last one is the language. Now 
document we have already selected publication stage whether it is in final or article doesn't matter we will include all source title whichever journal is source title means journal name whichever the journal we include all keyword we include all keywords affiliation we include sorry we include all key affiliations a sponsor we include all sponsorship countries all countries source type journal book series trade journal no problem we include all and then language will only include english okay so let us see how many documents are now eliminated the 577 this is the final one huh? file level 7 so 1376 i think uh, and 09 and two. Is it twenty-seven? Twenty-six. Six thirteen and six. Thirteen minus only six. Six three nine. It is good. Thirteen minus seven. Six. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Yeah, nine also. Twenty-six or thirty-six. Nine also. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. No, correct. Twenty-six. Twenty-six only. Twenty-six only. No, 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 no. Twenty-six only. Yeah, yeah. So now we have reached to the from Scopus. We are reached to the final conclusion. That five hundred seventy-seven papers we are going to download. Yeah, please. Sir, I have a question here, sir. When I did language screening uh, in Scopus, it was showing nine hundred and ten documents. But when I downloaded it into CSV, then nine twenty nine twenty-one documents were downloaded in uh, Excel. So and extra documents were there, right? Yes, Unless sir. Unless documents were there. Yes, sir. Extra were there, no? Ah, it will come, no problem. That I we need to work on that. Okay. So that comes here. Refinement of the erroneous records. I'm downloading it. Okay. Five hundred seventy-seven. Yes, sir. You just click here. These entire options will be active now. Okay. So go to the. export don't click on download go to the export if you remember the ppt i was asking this data okay but normally what i suggest to everyone please select all these all information you download so that later on you will not have a difficulty whatever the type of analysis you want to perform you can perform because you will have all informations now these are the format on which you can download but we should go with the csv why i we should go with this will help you to clean the data it will be in excel excel means it will be easy to clean the data click on export it will be downloading now the limitation meanwhile it get downloaded the limitation of the scopus is that at a time in one shot you can download only 2000 documents up to 2000 documents if the doc number of documents like here we have a 557 577 no problem you can download it but if it is 2577 you cannot download in one shot so for such case just let me rename it okay because there are many files in this is derivative the market or market items so the recording will be shared madam recording you will get it so if you have more than 2000 documents for example if i want to download these are very huge number huh? but still what you can do if you have more than 2000 document go to the year we all split this data year wise this number is very huge uh, which is uh, extremely normally you will get 2000 2000 something i'll just search another term and tell you social media 
más que hacerlo aquí. Two thousand one hundred. Okay. If I want to download, go to the export CSV. It will ask. See, only first two thousand document will be downloaded. Right. So in such case, what you can do, you go to the year. In first attempt, you can download, or maybe just select the number of document or number uh, years which the total number of publication will be less than 2000. Say from 2015, I think, huh? 2015 to 2020 first. So 1875, this I can download in one shot. Now it will not tell me that you have, uh, and in next temp, Please do not apply here, it will behave badly. You go to your search once again, 2150, and here you apply the year selection, maybe this uh, 2015 and the remaining years, limit to. So 1800 we have downloaded and 371 in the next attempt, you can download. Now you can merge them because they are in the scope, uh, this Excel, you can just copy and merge them. I hope uh, you can do it. Simple thing, you just copy all the record from one file and just paste into the another. file. It will take little time because here 1,800 documents are getting down. So I'll come back to the financial derivatives. The limitation of, uh, Scopus is that only that uh, it will allow you only to download 2000 up to 2000 documents. So 577 documents. Uh, I'm moving to the, the uh, this Scopus analysis, but before that, let us see that how we can download the data from Web of Science. Again, for the Web of Science also, you need access. Without access, you cannot download. If this is maintained by Clarivate, and the Scopus is maintained by Elsevier. Yeah. So again, you do if you do not have access, this document option will not come. Same derivatives. I'm searching here. See, and or not, this remains same. The rule remains same. Derivative market. Okay. These search terms criteria, these things remain same. You should put within this double inverted comma, a star you can use and or and not. This I forget to say there where you should apply and not. I'll show you. Okay. Search it. 772, sorry, 722 papers we got it here. Now again, you need to apply whatever. See, if you want to combine both the database, you want to combine both the file. So uh, you should apply same same logic of inclusion and exclusion. This is the subject one. So economics, management, another arts and humanities, right? Management I have taken from here. The same subject area I'm, I'm also taking from here so that I can justify that from both the uh, economic theory, we can take it. Finance is not there. Okay, refine it. So we got 449. Okay, so this is um, the subject area we have taken. This is the author, we do not touch. 
publication year there also we have taken for every year right from beginning to the present so here also from the beginning in a school, uh, web of science for the first paper was indexed that was one 1995 so here this we are not doing anything because there we have selected for entire duration uh, publication year we have seen document types article and one review article right refine it click on refine refine means include exclude that means it will be excluded so if you are if you are doing for the both web of science and scopus this you should do here you can add two more right hand side the same thing okay now this is for a scopus and this will be for web of science you do it you will have a their figure and error refinement do it and later on merging the wos and scopus documents you can present commonly now maybe you can write also by merging it total document or duplicate documents duplicate let's duplicate documents maybe you will find uh if this final figure is again 377 let it be so total is 537 and 944 approximately 45 uh, 54 so you can total documents 954 duplicate documents maybe 300 final number of documents that is 650 now how to merge and all today if time will permit i'll show you if not then tomorrow we'll start with that topic itself okay so this way once you merge after removing duplicates and all final number of document you 650 so publication year document type we have seen the subject area category this is affiliation we do not touch anything publication title the the, the journal names we do not touch publisher these are the emerald and all the one paper you have seen remember so they have used web of science where in the public publisher details you will find uh, normally here we do not touch anything except the language this is the language you may just see the english we find so you may have 338 final figure others are just for uh, see conference title book series web of science index this is ssi and sci esci all come so normally for the paper writing we look at to the language the subject category the document type and the year this is all that's all and then the limitation i'll tell you click on you select or not doesn't matter just click here uh, excel you can or these all are the format you can select excel now the limitation of the web of science is that in one attempt you can download up to 1000 records so same logic you apply you split your entire search result based on the year duration uh, that should again comprise of less than 100 documents sorry 1000 documents and then you export it now here you can go with the full record just select it full record export it 
I want all all record on the page or record from one to three hundred thirty eight. That is the total. Either you select it or this no problem. Hmm? Select record from one to one three three hundred thirty eight and export it. So all document, whatever the uh, appearing the search, it will be down. Simple way, the same thing. Now I am sir, coming to the. Sir, may I ask a question? Yeah, please, sir. Sir, uh, in Web of Science, the subject title does not include finance, but in Scopus, we had used finance. So while. Yeah, right, though the part of management. So. Sir, this while. Say, here you can see the Web of Science, the business finance is there. Uh, business finance is there. Economics management, it will come, sir. Sir, but there are some terminologies which are not same for both. So are we supposed you can, to? You can mention it, sir. Thing? If you want, you can mention it here. No problem. Separately. Subject area, is Scopus and subject area, Web of Science. Okay. You sir. can mention Thank it. You. No issue. Thank you. Okay. So I'm coming to the Scopus analysis. See, some of the analysis you can perform here itself in the Scopus. You don't need Web of Science. And if you want to publish your paper in a Scopus, maybe a little low quality journal, you don't need even was viewer. You can, you can publish using Scopus analysis and some of the other sources I'll show you tomorrow. That will be sufficient to publish a paper. No need to have a was viewer and all. So, first question, as I said to you, what are the publication trend? So this you can see, this is the publication trend. In 2010, or the table left hand side, left hand side, table for 2010, 40 papers, 2016, 42 papers, 2023, or 2022, 46 papers. This is the publication trend. You can use this picture, this image, but for this image, you need to, again, snipping tool, or a screenshot you can take and then you can do. Or the best way what I suggest, click here export in CSV. This table, this file you are here. This all, this it will come in the table. Now what you can do, you can design your own. Just short it, the smallest to largest, okay. This, now it will help you to design your own diagram. Prefer, insert and go to the, Either you can go with the trend one, you can go with the bar charts. Anyway, you can have a different color, different style, right? This is all you can do. You can add the data level. So no, normally I, I always say to the participant, use this Excel one. You can transpose it. This you can select. Huh? Add the data, select data and data level. Edit it. Sir, sir you didn't choose a year, no? Now it will come. Ah, okay. Now it will come here. Yeah, yeah. Here coming. Now if you select here, it will draw two. See, if you first, if you do it by selecting, it will draw two lines like this. The diagram also like this, it will come the year and so always you this is the you how to play with the data in the Excel, the artistic work you should do. Uh, so this now you can just copy and paste in your uh, document, the, the word file and you can write it. So first question, publication trend. The second question, who are the top author in the field of derivative market? So it is very easy. Rayu R D, Lutier D, all are D only, R A D. Or you can just export this and you can have your own figure. You take it from here, here. If I want, I can easily take it, right? Just print a screen, paste it here, and I can crop it. So I can write it now, the interpretation. 
So you don't need to go to the worst viewer or any software. The second question you may have, who, is, who are the top authors? The third question may be, which are the top journals which are publishing the paper on the theme derivative markets? So my dear participant, these are the five, the, it will suggest five journals, top five journals. You target them. The person who is working on writing the bibliometric analysis and derivative market, you upload in these papers. The acceptance of your paper will be very high because these journals are publishing most of the paper which are written on derivative market. You can target journal of derivatives, journal of future markets, and generally finance, quantitative finance, journal of banking and finance. See, they have published journal of future market 22 papers, journal of banking and finance 12 papers, journal of derivatives 10 papers and like. Year-wise also, you can see in 2019, Journal of Future Markets have published six documents uh, in 2022. Journal of Future Markets have published three documents. So you can target to upload your papers in this. Uploading these five one by one, 100% you will go. Then the main other may be from which university, which institution, most of the authors are writing papers on financial derivatives. London you know, School of Economics, Song Q, Kwan University, University Paris, Dauphin. These are the top 10. You use this, you can write the paper. Then the country, which country is most productive in context of writing and publishing the paper on derivative, financial derivative, sorry, derivative market. United States followed by UK and India is in the third. 54 papers have been written from India. Now in this Excel you can use, don't use all the time same diagram, better you export in the Excel and prepare your own diagram, it will be better. The next may be document type we have already filtered so that review paper 5.7% and remaining Articles comes for, uh, remaining from this article. It is how much it is 94.3%. Subject area wise, you can see we have already filtered, but still we can have some clarification that though we have filtered it, these are the figures that comes. business management 24.4, engineering 1.7, and other filters. Then this is funding, sponsorship, and all. So normally four or five questions you can develop. One is the document per year, that is publication trend. Another is top journals. The third may be top authors. Then fourth may be top institution. And fifth may be top countries. Most productive countries, most productive journal, most productive author, most productive institutions. So these are the analysis you can perform in your scopus. You don't need to go any any bibliometric analysis software, right? Any question if you have, uh, you can ask here, or else we are moving to the data which we have. Sir, so I have two questions. Please, please ask me. Uh, so one is that how do you establish uh, that there is a need to do bibliometric analysis? How do you write that gap? or convince uh... no, the general question please do not ask now i'm telling you you ask later on okay fine this related if you have any questions. all right all, I got it. all uh, question i'll answer everything okay. i'll answer i'm telling uh -huh. you uh, it will be sir, nine also no problem yes please sir uh like if we are taking only abdc listed then how will we take these graphs i'll show you i'll show you Okay, here, then you should, uh, you should not rely on the Scopus analysis, okay? Kirti, madam, you okay. should not rely on this. You should, okay, because sir. you have changed the figure. Okay, okay. So we'll this make not... it through... Uh, ah, then use software. software. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Use software. Okay, sir. If you are changing this figure, then you should uh, use the software. I'm closing this. Maybe I'll get it. I'm moving to the data cleaning, very important part of that also, uh, the Scopus. I have written, uh, this is uh, this thing. derivative market. 577, if you remember, that was the final. Click on the wrap text two times so that it will be 
now in the format. If I see here, it may be different, 583. Getting my point? Because there are many error records. Okay, that we are going to clean. Now I'll give you some of the shortcuts, okay? Uh, that how you can clean it, but you should do it very carefully. Here, just for the learning purpose, we may go a little fast, but you should do very carefully. If any anything that you have left, which are the error records, error in each record, then uh, if it will appear in the result, your everything will change. Okay. So the most of the error you can find in the author name. So first one is no author name available. It is the error one. And slowly you see these are the names. One by one, just scroll and see that whatever the name appearing, is it the correct one? See the regulation of you. And I'm going a little fast, but it's still, uh, uh, you, while you do, please go very slow. Because this way I may missed many, many error. Record, uh, erroneous record, but still I am putting my attention. Sir, I have one question in this. I'm sorry to disturb you. Please. Uh, sir, what we are going to mention in uh, language screening, 577 or 583? No, no, no. You mentioned uh, this 577 only, okay? Okay, sir. 577 only. Whatever the rate, record, uh, errors record will remove, if it will be below 577, that will report. Now, always, this is, see, in the name is blank, author is blank, title is also somehow, uh, it is there, but we don't know the author and all. Uh, the volume number, journal name is there, and other page number and other things are not there. DUI is not there. So such thing we try to delete, delete it, delete entire row. In the name of author, it is, see, this is not the name. Author ID, 26 is coming. Title, page number is coming. This is also an error. Delete. There may be other also, but we'll find it, don't worry. You should go slow. That's why I told you, you know, you should go slow so that uh, whatever the error terms are there, we can easily find out. Any of it. There are other ways also. The same thing you try with this author ID also. If you find anything odd here, see the blanks are there and blur are also. Author name is this, author ID is blood copied lines and year, see what is year in, uh, coming in the source, March 16 coming. So this is the error, remove it. You need to verify before you, this name directly, you can delete it. No? This is also not good. See, do not select everything and delete. One by one, you should delete. So we found something here also. Huh? In the title now we'll move on. Let us see if anything is there, which we can find it. It should go slowly, huh? but I'm going a little fast because I need to save time. In the year we can see, yes, yeah, fine. Source. Looks good. Volume number. Fine. Blank may be there, no problem. Yeah, here it is coming. The issue number 2020, we need to see before we delete. No? Discontinued, discontinued, and blank we'll see. So where is the volume number? Should see the, the, the no, no, sorry. The issue number that I, I saw, 2023. It may be there, no problem. Issue number so many times. Uh, year will come. So that is not a mistake. But still, if you want to verify, you can verify it. You can verify it. 
many a times it comes but to see the paper title author id and all they are perfect page number and all they are perfect except these uh, yeah it is also fine hmm. so you have removed many records now we are going to find the duplicates so always see dui is is the unique number digital object identifier is a unique for every papers so first of all with the help of conditional formatting go and highlight the duplicate so there may be chances just you need to check it will be highlighted yeah there is no duplicates here then for safer purpose let us find the title also many a times whatever i am doing you please do for your paper in the title also if we will get it i will show you many times we find the dui may be different but yeah see this two author this author same id same topic same year same journal same volume number same uh, this is getting changed okay but it is same now how it is same or different let us go and see the abstract case description and this is purpose huh? yeah abstract only this one see there is no change in the abstract i cannot find any change it's not changing at all that means this paper is same okay and that's why i told you many a times we can find the duplicates from the title also i hope you all agree with me that this paper is same you can delete any of the paper maybe with the lowest citation only volume number and issue number is changed but the paper is same let us go and find such more here or no so now we are ready i have refined it okay and i did it little fast but you should do it very carefully once you are done with that maybe one by one also you should go like this okay using the bottom so that there should not be any error the shortcut i have shown, shown you but these are the actual way of cleaning it my data is completely cleaned now let me see how many documents are there 575 okay so here please mention that you are left with 575 two you have removed okay we are going to analyze this much because your reviewer or editor they are not bother about how many you have reviewed how in the final so here and here they should tally okay whatever figure you were writing so we have cleaned the data i think uh, i am stopping here we are exhausted i don't want to to make you overloaded i'll take first uh, the question from the the uh, this chat box and then we'll go for uh, please uh, if any want to collaborate okay Sir, I want to okay. Whatever. Are there any specific Scopus journal dedicated to publishing? Um, yeah, there is no such journal. Um, but yes, in every journal you will find uh, some of the bibliometric paper. So what I advise again, my advice would be that whenever you are targeting in journal first, you see whether it is accepting bibliometric uh, uh, paper or not. Okay, you see there, you can search it. from their past archives you check their archive and see whether they are public accepting bibliometric analysis paper or not if not then don't target that okay is there any minimum number of i think i have already told that 70 to 80 numbers if you have you can go with it if less than that it is better to perform slr systematic literature review uh 
impact of uh, this um, Tina Seth. If you search like this, no, you will not find more paper, very less number of paper you can. You search like digital marketing and then consumer and consumer or consumer behavior, meaning digital marketing and consumer. Then you will get papers. Yes, then you can write it. If you put more keyword under uh, this, I have already uh, shown you. research question what related to the science mapping yes you can write it here you can write it and these are the topics uh, this uh, recording will be provided those who missed uh, the session for them recording will be provided this i think uh, uh, Chetana Suchdeva, uh, if you just uh, give me a little, uh, if you elaborate what it is advanced search, you got the same number. I can check what we are getting in the. Chetana Suchdeva. So for, for like green HRM, I search green HRM and environmental performance. I'll search here only. Let us uh, see. For green HRM, I use different uh, keywords like GHRM. Then green HRM practices, green human resource management. And then uh -huh. that I'll bring the dependent variable that is environmental performance. So, but then also I received the same number of responses. Uh, maybe that those, those terms you are using, the synonyms or extra terms that are not used by the people. That's why the same number it is coming. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. Uh, that may be the reason. That's why you are coming, the, the same number coming. If people are using, then then it will come or else no. Um, can you add document and patents? Uh, yes. Uh, can you add secondary document and patents? This I could not understand. Um, uh, see, if you have a bibliographic of it, it, you can manually enter into the Excel. But many a times, if you do not follow the format exactly same, the software will not take. That risk will be there. Richa Sarma. So better whatever you are extracting from the Scopus or Web of Science or you are merging both the database, you go with that only. Yeah, you, Dev Prasad, sir, you can apply any, I have shown all this, you can apply any, any way. Sir, what entries to be seen? Can you repeat in author, year, title, source, blank is fine. Ah, blank also you should look, and not available you should look, and name which are not like name, it is improper, you can see that, that those things you can select it. Yes, you can go with the, uh, uh, this uh, co citation analysis, co author citation, co author and co citation. Whenever you go for the co citation, it will ask you whether you want to go for author or uh, institution or this. You can select it. It is there tomorrow. I'll be showing you. Bikram um, Singh, sir, one software, if you know, that is sufficient. This paper, which I was showing now, this. Maximum paper here, it, they have used only one software. One software, if you know, if you know two better, if you know one, that is more than sufficient to write paper and publish. Sir, does it does it uh, have any influence on the reviewer? No, 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 sir, no. no. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Normally, we decide the analysis based on the research question. Okay. If you don't know anything that uh, or that tool you don't know, you just don't put that into your research question. That's all. I will not, they will not ask anything. Uh, thematic cluster and all that we are going to cover. And molecularity that we are going to cover. Thematic cluster and all. What type of research question can I make measuring impact? Because it uh, does not. Uh, measuring impact, so you are not measuring impact. All the topic, uh, the theme or uh, the topic which are comprised of measuring impact, that will come. So the research question will be same. Whether you are investigating, measuring, examining, whatever the term you are using. But here, the R square you are not, or correlation coefficient you are not using. It is the published item, their bibliographic data on which we are working. So you can use the same research question, no problem. 
Okay, so I am done with the chat box. You can ask, uh, you can open your mic and you can, you can, you can ask if you have any question. Uh, so for cl cluster analysis, do we need full text papers or on what basis? No, 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 way this bibliography, uh, bibliographic data is Okay, so on the basis of documents, we do cluster analysis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keywords, keywords, it will come, it will also focus on uh, the the abstract and title, but normally we focus on the keyword. Okay, sir. Thank you. Normally, the theme, whatever you are writing, they are there in the keywords. We use those keywords so that our the visibility of the paper will be more. So it will be on keyword. You can use keywords or indexed keyword, author keyword or indexed keyword, either or both also you can use. That we will be seeing tomorrow. Okay, so sir, it it is available in Vosphere only. We yeah, it is there. Worst viewer you can do. Dulu Shani also you can do. Uh, see, if time will permit, I will give you the overview of uh, this uh, Biblo Shani also. Yes, Don't sir, worry. it would be beneficial for us. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. See, I do not hide, want to hide anything. I always uh, try to give more and more information so that the participant should not go with the doubt. And again, this uh, WhatsApp, uh, Dr. Rajkumar sir, it will be open for the people to ask the question there also. You can ask right the question. Right. right. Uh, after Usually this, we, are, uh, we are allowing all the participant on the last day or from the last day onwards. Yes, yes. Right. So if it is required, then we'll open. Right. Yeah. Uh, you can you can ask their question also if you have any doubt. Yeah. Right. Yes, sir. Sir, we'll I be answering even I and Dr. Atul Shiva. This group will be forever. Right. You absolutely. can leave it. Uh, if you if you feel exhausted, you can leave it. But normally you will not get much uh, post over there. Right. Sir, we have to download and keep the software for tomorrow. Or... Uh, tomorrow, uh, everything I'll share. Uh, the data set also I'll share. Okay. And then I will share uh, the software link also for both the software. Okay, okay, but sorry. again, I am I'm repeating, the Biblio Shiny, it depends upon the time that we will have. If we will not create more trouble, and if we will be, we'll be starting sharp six, then we will be able to manage both the software. Or else, I um, will give a quick review only. The Biblio Shiny. Most people will have a full time. Don't worry. All analysis will do. One paper, this paper I'm going to decode from beginning. This table we have prepared and uh, one more figure one we have seen. Okay, this figure one we have seen, the publication trend. Other things, the entire thing that this paper also, this paper also the same thing. We are going to, uh, because in other paper, uh, less than these analysis are there. So we are focusing, we are going to decode these two papers. Oh, sir, I am not I also make, uh, Sir, can I also make the research questions like this in which sector the digital marketing is impacting more? Yeah, you sector, uh, you will not get such result, ma'am. <laughs> you will not get such result. So okay, for sir. that, you have to go for this systematic literature. You have to read entire paper. Okay, sir. Yes, any other question? I'll see the chat box. Dear participant, if you have any other question, you please ask. Vikram, uh, sir, I'll share the paper tomorrow. Why you, I do not share before? Because people will start asking the question of letter table and the figures. So always, once <laughs> the, I will uh, decode the paper in front of you, I'll be, I'll be showing the entire paper. And later on, all the paper I'll be sharing with you. Don't mm -hmm. worry. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, Tina, ma'am, uh, this uh, pe uh, the question I think I had already taken. Uh, okay. Uh, sir, the PPTs will be shared, no? Yeah, yeah I'll share, ma'am. It's a public yes, property. Don't worry. Yeah, thank you, sir. But do not use for delivering lecture. You should update it. It's my own property. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, sir. Thank you. Actually, I was sick, uh, or else I would have updated um, from next uh, for next uh, FDP when a workshop. I'll be updating all this. November I had updated. It's almost six months now. So I'll update again on figures and data and all. 
Any other question? Okay, so if not, uh, no Dr. Kumar, sir. Hmm. Right, sir. Possibly uh, tomorrow will, there will be many questions because today many of the things were theoretical, although not theoretical, but many of the things once they will complete or yeah, they will yeah. play with the data, then only there will be having many other. Yes, right? yes, yes. And the second thing is uh, the Scopus data, which many of them might not be having the access. Right. So once they will search with the keywords, then they will be having certain doubts. Uh, and tomorrow some of the there participants... will be more uh, doubts. Yeah, sir. Uh, even I do. Right, absolutely. And there must be because then only uh, session will be more interactive and then they will be having more confidence to write a paper and to analyze better and to interpret it better. Nice, sir. Thank you very much, Vijay, sir. And thank you all the participants for making the session interactive. And uh, hopefully I will provide the uh, the recording of the session as soon as I'll get from the Zoom uh, cloud. Right. Hopefully before morning, I will uh, send you the link to download the recording so that you can practice and you can be ready for tomorrow's session. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vijay, sir. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Have Good night, sir. Day. Good night, sir. Thank you so much.